Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. Today, we'd like to discuss the fear that many people have about experiencing panic attacks at work or in public places. Many people with panic attacks fear that they'll lose control in the most awkward of places. For many folks, this could be having a panic attack at work. It could be fear of having panic attacks in public places or amongst a large crowd. You could literally fill in the blank here. One person we knew, well, we'll call her Jane, to protect her identity, was very worried about having a panic attack at work. When she became anxious, she would have very bad intestinal problems and feel the need to rush to the washroom. This made her anxiety much worse because she not only feared having a panic attack at work, but that she'd have intestinal problems. When talking with Jane, it was discovered that one of the things creating a huge amount of panic for her was the fear that she might have to leave suddenly if she had a panic attack at work. She was given the suggestion by a psychologist that during any staff meeting, she should try to intentionally leave the room. She became quite nervous when this suggestion was given to her at first. However, over time, she agreed to give it a try. The next staff meeting approached and halfway through the meeting, she got up and left the room. Jane quickly saw that when she began leaving the room, no one seemed very surprised or shocked. As it turned out, she noted that various people would come and go throughout the meeting. Over the next month or so, she repeated this behavior, leaving the room at each meeting. Jane learned that she no longer needed to fear having to leave meetings suddenly because she had become accustomed to it. Her anxiety reduced and so too did her intestinal problems. You see, this works for Jane, and it can work for you, too. You might be wondering why this helped with anxiety. Well, what's going on is that Jane has faced one of her fears, which is having to leave the room suddenly. But now, she has actually seen concrete evidence that nothing bad happens. So, her fear of the unknown is removed from the situation. Really, this technique is a variation of exposure therapy. What's even more encouraging is what researchers published in the Journal of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America on the effects of exposure therapy. They state that the effects of a single session can have long-term effects and result in a stable reorganization of neural responses to feared stimuli. In other words, we no longer have the same neurological reactions inside of our brains to the things that we feared. We would encourage you to look at the things you avoid and then devise a plan, such as Jane's, so that you can face the thing you fear and then see the evidence that nothing majorly bad happens. This can remove the fear you have of having a panic attack in particular situations or places. This technique can help you conquer any fear about having to leave social situations quickly if you're avoiding them due to a condition or whatever the case may be. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our videos if they are helpful for you. Please, feel free to share our videos with others who may benefit from them. Your communication is important to us. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in comments below. Also, if you would like references to the information presented in this video and or additional tips and information concerning anxiety, panic attack, and agoraphobia recovery, please visit our website and subscribe to our free newsletter at panicattackrecovery.com.